blessed be, and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Amaris. Now, hiding your witchery in plain sight. As I said in a previous video, it's a lot harder for, for people who, who can't um, outwardly show their, their witchy side, uh, whether it be that um, you're too young to, to leave home and have your own place, so that you have to you have to kind of hide some of the, the witchiness from your parents, um, which I don't really recommend, um, but I do understand if that's, if that's something that you feel that you need to do. Um, or you just live, uh, you live in a share house and being overtly witchy would just make everyone uncomfortable. So these are just a few things where you can hide your, your witchiness in plain sight and things, every, everyday things that people wouldn't even give a second glance to but have been given that uh, witchy sparkle, you could say. Now this is something that I purchased in, um, it's one of those bargain stores, like a $2 shop. Um, reject shop I can't remember exactly which one it was um, but it's one of those those stores where they have um, seconds and and um, bits and pieces that that the regular stores can't um, sell or won't sell anymore that are usually quite um, quite um, low in price now this I think was it was two dollars now the reason I got this so it's a little um, container but inside there is a, sorry, it's a bit too bright, but you can see there's a there's a candle inside, and it's a it's a vanilla scented candle, um, which is quite nice to to smell. One of those scented candles, and um, it has a top on there. Now the reason I got this was I thought, well, this is quite nice. It's something that you would find in, in lots of people's homes. Lots of people have scented candles. It looks like something that you could have on a, a wardrobe um, and it is um, also something that once it's finished, once you have finished uh, burning the candle, you can put little little bits and pieces in there. So you could have um, what you would say that this could function as a spell box where you would have your your circle, which uh, is your your magic circle, and inside you would have your your spell pieces, like uh, whether it is a, um, um, a a petition with a crystal on top, or, or some kind of thing that you would have on top, and then you could place the lid on top, and it would function as a womb, as a as an incubator, and it wouldn't look out of place on someone's uh, bedside table or wardrobe um, and uh, yes and I thought it was quite quite nice it's got this little black rib ribbon on here but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a little a little spell where it's a bit of a happy home spell and uh, once this is finished you would you wouldn't notice that it was something that's totally witchy so first thing I would do is get rid of the black the black ribbon even though it's quite nice it doesn't really go with the intent that we are going to achieve um, and uh, just place that to the side so again we've got this now because it's come from a two dollar shop um, again you don't know who's touched this where it's been um, how it was created um, and even even to the point where someone who is standing next to it in the shop you don't know what energy this is absorbed so you would go through the process of, of cleaning and clearing this um, both the glass and the the, uh, the candle itself um, so that I've already done um, we won't go into that um, right now now we have our our, um, our candle. Now you can have a look at uh, one of my previous um, videos on dressing a candle. So you can do that if you if you like, but it may may come out looking a little bit too too weird. I'm not too sure um, if you do do that. But you can maybe put a couple of holes in the. Uh, in the candle kind of 
towards the center maybe. got our three three little holes that we've placed in there and that's where we can put a little bit of a little bit of oil so again you you would research and find out what oil that you would you would like to to do depending on what it is that you want so again I've got a little bit of um, high John the conqueror root um, so it's about um, uh, protection and um, prosperity and um, various things so we just put a little bit of we don't need too much let's face it so we're going to hold this a little bit Okay, so how do we make this so that it doesn't look too weird and witchy? Then you use certain things that wouldn't look out of place in a, uh, in a potpourri. Um, now if you're a guy and you're going, well, what is a potpourri? Potpourri is uh, 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 petals and, and flowers um, all put together in a nice um, fashion with a little bit of orris root. Um, just uh, to help to, to bind. So you can use basically everything that you would have in a potpourri on the candle here. So here I have a little bit of calendula, calendula flowers. So this is good for protection. It's also good for love and happiness and success. All things that you want to have in a nice happy home. So you just, just a little bit. Remember I said less is more. And especially if you're doing something like hiding in plain sight, you don't want to heap a whole bunch on. You want to kind of make it look like it's something that could have been purchased at a, uh, at a craft store. And that's um, normal craft, not witchcraft store. <laughs> so you have a little bit, of, little bit of calendula flowers, just sprinkled nicely. Then you can have a little bit of a little bit of lavender. So I've got I've got some um, actual lavender here. So you can have a little bit of lavender. And again, this is all things that you wouldn't see too far off some kind of little craft store or homewares store that. As its, uh, its scented flowers and scented candles. So it's about just looking a little stylish. So, as I say, I'm saying less is more. I should say a little bit less to keep it in. So, just a few of those. And a few rose petals because you want to have some love and it always looks quite nice so again you don't want to have too many so just you know, lift them up a little bit and just scatter them around there and again looking at that if you took one look at that you wouldn't necessarily say witchcraft straight away would you it just looks like a nice little potpourri um, and then lastly you would have a 
a little bit of, again, we've got a little bit of All Saints powder. So you are having the, you know, a little bit of this angelic uh, influence. So just a little bit of a sprinkle of that powder. It goes on. Just doesn't have to be too much. Just a little bit. So just a little sprinkle of that powder. So you can see this looks quite lovely. Um, as I said, it doesn't scream pentacles and black cats. Um, it does look kind of girlish, so I do apologise to any uh, male watchers of this video. Um, but you can use the same kind of thing for, for different things. You can use quite, quite masculine kind of smelling herbs that you uh, want to use or you don't even have to use herbs at all you can have a scented candle of some kind that you've charged and there's your your witchiness there uh, so again you can place that on when you're not using it tie a nice little colored ribbon that is in line with what it is that you want to do so this one is for happy home and love so a nice little pink ribbon so that uh, pink is a nice kind of colour for uh, kind of universal love. Just think uh, rose quartz, that unconditional love. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. A little bow on the top, and there you have your hide in plain sight home protection witchery candle. Thank you and blessed be.